Good afternoon, Lady Leisha. How are you doing? You well? I'm okay, thank you. How are you? Blessed. Always, in always. Can't complain. Listen, we're here to talk about what you've been doing today. I know you've been down in Aston um, for the launch of Birmingham 2022 volunteering scheme. Um, it's about encouraging applications. Yourself and Team England basketball player Kofi Josephs. Um, you've been at the Lighthouse Young People Centre, right? Talk to me. How's the day been? You've had the weather. You've had the weather for it. Um, yeah, the weather's been great, but unfortunately, I haven't been able to see it that much because I've been inside encouraging people. No, but on, on a serious note, it has been a really good, a good, um, a good. Sorry, my head is all over the place. It's been a good time here because. I grew up in, a, in youth clubs. So to come back to a youth club and then talk to people, that was me about 20 years ago, 50 years ago. It's like, okay, this is, this is crazy. And obviously Commonwealth Games is huge. So it's very epic that it's here. It's in Birmingham for once. We have it now, do you know what I mean? So I think this is the time that we really show that Birmingham is really about this. We're, we're the second biggest city. People tend to forget about this. And we have a lot of talent, a lot of artists, um, industry people, poets, rappers. There's just so much talent oozing from the city. And I, I just, I'm just happy. Anytime I'm involved in anything to do with the young people or Birmingham, I'm there. I'm always there. So yeah, today has been great. I've been <coughs> You've 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 um you've been a constant inspiration, really. Um, my kids love you. You know what I mean? Okay. Like they they you know they love you, and so I just want to let you know that from the top. And one of the things I also wanted to let you know is that um, it's clearly obvious to me anyway that that being a positive role model, you know, with all the pressures that come with that, but that's a constant within your narrative. You you talk about the importance of of that, and I guess connecting with this scheme is and uh, just an extension of that same energy oh, yeah definitely i mean for me i've never thought i was a role model it just kind of happened um, and i guess that's just because i have certain morals certain ways that i do things the way that i appear in my music videos what i talk about all of that is the reason why i am the way the way i am and i guess to some it can be seen as role model material but there was a time when I, I just didn't know, like I literally did not know. So I'd say whatever I wanted to say, do whatever I wanted to do, which is the same as how I'm being now. But I remember getting a Facebook message and this was like 2008, nine. And someone was like, you do know you're a role model, right? And that was actually the first time I really deeped it. Like, I'm not just a little girl that's made it out of the youth club and now I'm doing songs here and there. Everything that I put out, into the universe can impact another person, another listener, another human that can relate to what I'm going through. So I started to understand that actually, maybe I am a role model. And someone reminded me, I don't swear in my lyrics. I didn't know, it's not, it's not something I've done on purpose. It's just something I don't do. I don't see the reason to swear if I don't really do it in my real life. Do you know what I mean? Um, or even talk about things that I don't do. I just literally, I'm so sure of myself. I only talk about what I know. Um, and yeah, when I got my head around being a role model, I guess, it, there was, I felt like there was extra pressure because it's like, oh, but then if I'm seen in that place or if I'm with that person, they might feel, certain people might feel a way about that. So it started to make me kind of be a bit self-conscious with what I was doing. But um, on a whole, like being a role model, it is a big job and you're not going to be able to please everybody. But I just live for me and whoever is resonating off my energy, so it go. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. So, so, so it go indeed. And, and no, I'm, I'm glad you shared that with us. This Commonwealth Games Focus, right, has instigated a whole raft of, you know, development that just, that's really going to change the face of Birmingham. You must yeah. be excited about, about what's coming in the next couple of years. Um, but, but just on a sports front, what are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to? 
Yeah, yeah, from a, from a sports perspective. From what? That, from a sports perspective. Did, someone, did someone collapse? No, 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 no. The door was open. <laughs> um, but, were, were you sporty in school? I was. I was, actually. I knew how to ball. I knew how to play basketball. I was in the football team, the basketball team, the netball team. I've just been a very active person, you know, as in, like, I just, I just like to do everything. And I think that just really goes into everything I do now. Like, I can't just be a rapper. I want to do TV. I want to do acting. Because you're not meant to just do one thing in life. I don't think you are. I think you're always meant to unlock a different part of your life. Um, but in general, I'm looking forward to seeing the whole thing because it's in Brom. Like, and I just want to know, I want to see how they're going to, how it's all going to play out and how it's going to happen. That is my main. Like, I'm just thinking, how is this going to work? It's, it's just mad. It's just exciting to me. Um, and obviously, I met Kofi earlier as well. So it's good to just get some experience from his past. Commonwealth Games that you've gone to. That's fun. Well, can we look forward to a Commonwealth track, Commonwealth Games track from you closer to the games? Maybe. I mean, I, I, I just assume it's a given, really. <laughs> Commonwealth Queen's Beach. Let's give it to them. Why not? All right. All that right. Looking crazy. forward to that. Yeah, no, that would be great. That would be great. That, that means, really, no, what, honestly, what, I'm, I'm what, speaking what, this what, out into the air, but. That would be epic. But it means that everyone would have to be in time, in their places, and literally, if you don't make it, you've got to take it again. We've got to do another take. It's all one take, isn't it? <laughs> Listen, just make just make sure I'm in the video. I'm going to bring yeah, it. Yeah, right at the end. <laughs> you, just, you, you just... No, 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 right at the end. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I want to know what street, man. We'll be there, because I know it's going to be on the street, you know, as they all are. So, yeah. Well, I'm... Then. I heard it here first. That's my thing, though, you know, like I don't, all the queer speeches and the, the kind of videos where there's no react, like people are just there and you're just thinking, are they staged? Are they paid actors? I do this on purpose. So Commonwealth Games, I don't even know that this might happen, but I'm telling them right now. But I'm just saying, in general, I like to shoot things where people are just like, what? Because that reaction is like, that's what gets people watching more. Like, oh my gosh, did you see that, that lady? She, didn't know that they were recording. But yeah, I love doing things like that. So who knows? All right, we had it here first. Looking forward to it. Thanks so much for your time. Good no luck problem. for the rest of the day. Inspiring the kids. Really appreciate it. All right. Thank you, you man. And bless up to your kids as well. Tell them thank you so much. <laughs>